Joseph is a confident young man. Word of his existence in society circles in Paris spread. He was a very desired companion. Marie Antoinette is friends with Joseph Bologna. He's her music tutor, and then they become very close. Joseph. She was 14 when she entered the French court. She's been so heavily judged because of her behavior without the context of her age. And so I really wanted to bring that context into play. Can I get her a shiny sash or something? Let's make this festive. Party power, take two, pay only. Lagima, she's an artist. She has an enormous amount of power with the queen and with the public. There's no finer voice in opera. You're right. Gima recognizes what an extraordinary talent Joseph is, and she wants to be part of that. I think it's time we collaborated. But she's a product of her time and a function to show how, as a man of color in the French court, it doesn't matter how talented he is. Because you don't belong here. She doesn't like him. It turns out I quite despise being spoken for. Marie Josephine, she's been sort of sold off by her father and didn't have any say in it. Her only real escape is through music. She's an opera singer and she wants to sing in Chevalier's opera. It's captivating, is she not? My cousin. <laughs> Their love of music and an understanding of each other's pain develops into love. Lanon is Joseph's mother. And once they're separated, there is a loss that Lanon experiences that consumes her. All those years that she spends separate from him is a real chasm. But then she gets to Paris and it's like, it's strained and she has to relearn her son. She has to relearn herself. She needs him. I want it to feel contemporary, even though it's happening in the 1700s, from set design, costumes, hair and makeup. When we're in the aristocratic spaces, there's a lot of gold and a lot of pastel. It shows a level of opulence. I wanted it to look like artwork, keeping it authentic to the period, but with a definite contemporary twist using the placement of the colors, getting that old school Hollywood glamour.